everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a back to school video and I don't necessarily think I'm going to be doing a whole series because I only have this video and another video plan in mind. But if you do have any requests about back to school videos or anything like that, just leave them in the comments below or tweet them to me or any way you can get a hold of me. But today's back to school video is going to be tips for incoming freshmen because I'm sure a lot of you are freaking out and you're really, really scared of what to expect and you don't know for sure what's going to happen. So I really hope these tips will be beneficial to you. And I did graduate high school this year, so I'm going to be in college. And I am by no means saying that I know every single thing and I'm like a professional about high school. I just have like about 10 tips in mind for you guys. But let's just begin. Tip number one is to not be too nervous. I completely understand and I can relate and I agree that it is scary and I, you can be afraid, like that's fine. But don't be like 100% nervous, be like 10% or 20% nervous because if you are super nervous, you're not going to enjoy yourself and you won't like it the whole entire experience. So don't have like sweaty hands and you're shaking all the time and you can't speak. So just like calm down and relax. It's going to be fine and everything's going to work out perfectly. I can promise you that. So try not to be too nervous. It's really not a big deal. Like. High school is a breeze, don't worry about it. Tip number two is to go to your school if you're able to a week or so before school actually starts and just run through your schedule and make sure you know where all your rooms are because it'll help you so much. I did that when I was a freshman because I was so afraid I was gonna get lost and I didn't, woohoo! But just make sure you know where all of your classrooms are and know where your locker is and according to your classroom so you can know when you're able to go to your locker and between what classes and that's just going to be really, really helpful. I promise you that it's going to be one of the most helpful tips in this whole video. Tip number three is if you do get lost, just ask for help. Like ask a teacher or a fellow classmate or a friend. I don't recommend asking like a group of seniors who are trying to have a conversation. I don't think they'd appreciate that very much if you interrupted them. But ask anyone else besides them because you may think that's really embarrassing or it's going to be really awkward. But it'd be even more embarrassing if you show up to your classroom like 10 minutes late while your teacher is trying to talk to other students. And then all of them are going to turn and face you and that's just really embarrassing. So just ask for help if you do get lost. Tip number four, may come off as being like, ugh, I'm not going to listen to you. But do your schoolwork, get all of your homework done, study for your tests and quizzes because it is so important. I assume that's why you're in high school. I mean, I don't really know why else people would be there. So just make sure you get all of your schoolwork done because like I said, that's really why you're there. Like that's the ultimate reason to graduate from high school. So get all of your homework done, make sure all, all of your work is done before you like hang out with people or do anything like that. Don't procrastinate too much because that just be really annoying and just make sure you have all of your stuff done because it is so important. Tip number five is join sports teams. Like I played soccer in high school and I also ran track. Just if you are able to, make sure you get involved because it is so much fun. But make sure you get your school work done as well because I know you might have to travel away for some games or stuff like that and you may not have time. But just make sure you get as much as you can and also go to sporting events like football games and hockey lacrosse, soccer, those were all so much fun. While I was in high school, I had a lot of fun at those. And if you have a homecoming, go to your homecoming game because everyone is there for the same reason. They're all cheering. It's a great way to meet people, a great way to socialize and just talk to people. And it's honestly the best time. Tip number six kind of has to do with tip number five, but it's just to socialize and be friendly, but don't be overly friendly because that can be really annoying and stuff like that. So just just talk to people, just meet new people, and just have so much fun because why not try to talk to people because it's a lot of fun to make new friends and you can hang out with them and maybe form relationships. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Tip number seven, I'm done the whole tan thing. I feel like it, that would be getting really old. But tip number seven is to just be yourself and do not conform to any groups that may sound so tacky I will not talk about this for too long but don't like change yourself or anyone like you're fine don't worry about it you may feel like you're not fitting in you can't find yourself 
you'll be fine. So make sure you just don't change yourself, don't change the way you act, don't change the way you dress, just so you can get someone's attention, because I'm sure that someone will not be that someone for very long. So just make sure you stay true to yourself. This is my signature thing. Do you guys like it? Tip number eight is to wear what you want to wear. Like if you feel like the outfits that you wear are nothing like the other people wear, who cares? You probably have a sense of style. You probably know what fashion is. So just wear what you want to wear, wear what makes you feel comfortable, and what make, makes you feel good. If you bought those clothes to wear to school and you don't wear them, like what? You're just wasting a whole bunch of money. Like you buy clothes so you can wear them. So wear them. So just, you know, wear whatever. If you see people wearing sweats and stuff like that and you want to wear a dress, you want to be all girly, go for it. If you want to wear a jumpsuit to school, why not? Like a maxi dress or a maxi skirt and you feel like no one else wears those, just wear it. If you want to wear like a daring outfit that is really out of your comfort zone and you're just branching out, do it because I'm sure you look good and you have a great sense of style, girl. And maybe you'll win best dressed. Who knows? Okay, tip number nine. I don't really know how to say this, so I'm just going to say it. Don't be a slut. Don't be that girl who wears a really, really tight and short skirt or booty shorts where you don't even cover your butt. Don't do that, especially if you're just doing it to impress a guy. Like, yeah, you're probably going to get that guy's attention, but the only thing they'll want from you is sex. If you really want a decent, good guy, then cover yourself up, be nice, be friendly, and talk to the guy. Like, you're not going to get a good guy if you dress all slutty and stuff like that. Just don't do that because good, decent guys will like you for your personality, not how you dress. And also, you don't want to be that girl that every girl talks bad behind your back. Like, saying, oh my gosh, she's such a slut. Like, she's up with every single guy in this school. Oh my god, how can she do that? I hate her. I don't want to be friends with her. Get her out of this school. Like, you don't want to be that person. So just make sure you're not that girl. And everything is going to work out perfectly for you and run very smoothly. And tip number 10 is to relax and enjoy yourself and have fun because you are truly only a freshman one year. Even if you fail or something like that, you're not really a new freshman. So just make sure you just relax and enjoy yourself and have fun because while in high school, you probably won't have to pay for that much stuff. Like I know I had expenses and stuff like that and I'm sure other people have to pay for stuff as well. But you don't have like so much stuff like when you do when you move out or something like that. Because while in high school, you're probably, you know, living with your parents and stuff like that. And they're probably supporting you. So just make sure, I mean, not everyone is like that. But just make sure you just relax and enjoy yourself. Because why do you want to be like, oh, like, oh my gosh, all the time. You don't want to be like that. So just calm down. Don't fret too much. Don't fret over you know, who you're going to hang out with this weekend or how you're going to be able to study for this test or I don't know what to buy someone for the birthday. And I promise you, high school is not that bad. Freshman year is not that bad. It's really not as bad as people paint it to be. Also, there's not going to be like mean seniors. If someone calls you like, ha ha ha, you're a best friend, ha ha, I'm never going to help you any single time. Oh my gosh, you're such a loser. That, I bet that person has zero friends and no one likes him or her. So just don't even mind that mean, mean, mean person. That's it for all my tips. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do want to see a part two, like some more tips, just comment below or something like that. I also want to say I hope you guys don't think I'm rude or anything like that because I tell the truth. Like I'm a really like honest person I'm not gonna cut around the corner I'm just like a blame person like I tell it how I think it is or how I see it whatever like that so especially about being a stuff like that I hope that wasn't rude or it came off as being mean because I wasn't trying to be I was just you know telling you my advice and my opinions and my tips for incoming freshmen but anyways I still hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching I hope you have a nice night or day whenever you're watching this I'll talk to you guys soon bye everyone